ask, I gotta ask you quickly. You sitting in Duquan, that's making me mad. You gotta say something. Fabulous. <laughs> well, I agree with them. It's all dependent on how you carry yourself. Me, I come in with a professional attitude. I expect to be treated as professional. Mm -hmm. I'm a model. I'm going to model. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm, I'm about not to gonna just, you know, I'm not one of the little so-called video girls who's oh. going to shake their butt for a camera. That's not Something what I strange do. for some change? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> oh, no. and, and men shouldn't be afraid to ask a woman. I mean, you can ask a woman what they're about. Oh, you know, if, if you, instead of taking it Instead of just assuming, just mm -hmm. say, like, you know, are you going blah, 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 or how are you? It's yeah. hard. That's not that hard. Let me tell you why I said that. Because we went out to eat one night. We, we went to, uh, I was saying we went at, <laughs> we went out to eat one night, and we took a bet on how I'm going to approach the females in a polite way and see who responds compared to them disrespecting them. They got more females to answer them back. Hey, yo, nice. shorty, this and that. Yeah. Let me say, how you doing, miss? How you doing, miss lady? Yeah. So they me like, is he from here? See, I would not I wish I would have been there. I would not have been there. I did not respond to that. Okay, what kind of exposure they get as long as somebody's talking to them? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let me ask you a question. Is it, attention. Is it hard to approach any one of you females on the street? No. Yeah. Not if you. Yeah. It just, wait, wait. Let me. It depends on what kind of female you're approaching. Yeah. You know, if you're approaching a scutter bucket, then you treat her like a scutter bucket because she's a scutter bucket. But if you're approaching a lady, like then you approach her yes. as you approach a lady. Exactly. Oh, no. And then I'm talking to like a lady from a scutter bucket. Right. How do you? How do you? Oh, we can all talk. We can all talk. Most on, of right? the time, you can determine what a scutter bucket is and what a lady is. Define scutter. Everybody wearing the same right. clothes. <laughs> no, everybody else wearing the same clothes. How do y'all got boyfriends? And what do y'all boyfriend say about it if y'all got boyfriends? Oh, let me. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, for me. That's a little purple. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I kind of think that Rashawn kind of appreciates the fact that men even, you know, no, I got it like Rashawn that. Rashawn speak for herself. <laughs> <laughs> And I tell Rashawn, like, I'm like, baby, oh my gosh, and I listen to that, you know. He'd be like, oh, really? Like, you know, we, we exchange some information, and the same thing with him. So you know? Open. We're, we're really open. We're really open. I mean, Rashawn is the CEO of a porn. Come on. We're open. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you have a boyfriend? No. Why not? Do, do it find it hard to approach you? Because you like, you hard to approach. Sometimes. Yeah. I don't really take mess from nobody. Because I grew up around a lot of guys, so I know how to handle myself. And you're on the go. So yeah, would you would you take me that. like say do I have to have a suit on or do I can I can I just come casual when I approach you? No, you can come casual. As long as you say the right things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what uh, is that? Are you driving? <laughs> 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 uh, I got a question for the ladies. Two questions. Uh, one, are you all willing to uh, date a man who lives in his mama basement? Does he have a job to upgrade himself? He does have a job, um, but it's just not career. enough to cover, you know, rent because my mama don't pay it. Well, not me, but charge him as much as the rent would be. Mm -hmm. yeah. and also, um, would you all like to? Join a, a reality show called uh, For the Love of Doodoo. Mm. <laughs> Real soon. Y'all can just think on that one for a minute. And I'll... I think you might have to change the name because For the Love of uh, Doodoo. Yeah. Just love to see the pieces. <laughs> People got love for Doodoo. I'm, I'm going to move on. You, you continue. All right, question. But how do y'all feel? This is a serious question right here. How do y'all feel about having a black woman as. First lady. First lady. That's President. That's excellent. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it's empowering. It's beautiful. What do you mean to y'all? What do you mean to you? What do y'all mean to y'all? It lets me out. Speak into the mic. Go ahead. Don't be scared. It shy. lets me know that you can keep striving and you never have to stop. Just keep going. Just keep going. Okay. Do that also mean to do that? Do y'all see that that also may support your black men? I'm about to say that. I'm yeah, about to say yes. that. and anything's possible. Yeah. Now, nah, I, I, I beg to differ that. It's not always <laughs> about support your black men. It's time for us black men to support our women, too, also. True. That's true. Right. Support. Because I mean, support each other equally. Yeah. No, Obama's yeah. going to have a good example of both ways. But tell yeah. you, no offense, I don't mean to be rude, but... This is supposed to happen way before Obama even got in office. We were supposed yeah. to be doing our job way before that, but right. now everybody right. putting the pressure. He got enough pressure on him right now. But we got to be like Obama. No, be like right. yourself. Be like, True. If you want somebody to respect your mama and your sister, you respect the lady you with. Mm -hmm. Or if you want somebody to respect your dog, because I know if I had a dog, I don't have no kids right now. Sure. But, I mean, I would seriously knock a brother's off.
<laughs> knock him loose. I couldn't say the word. I'm on the air. <laughs> Secure, talk to us. You sitting there quiet. Too quiet. I know, I know. Um, that that's an excellent point. I actually was listening to a um, underground um, mixtape that was given to me, and it, the song was actually done a couple years ago, and it was it's a song about I love my daddy. And the gentleman on there, he said something about, what he said was, you know, he, he flipped it in the most in, in, incredible way to make you think. He said that there are men that get mad at women because they're treating, they feel like they're treating themselves a different way. They're carrying themselves in a, in a, in, in a not so appeasing manner. However, you never take the time to think that maybe her father was not in her life. So... You, if if your if your if your father is not in your life, then that means it is more important for you to be in your children's life so that you can break the cycle. It's not just oh, let me it happen to me so this my child will get, go move on. You have to take responsibility. There's a lot of for every action there's a reaction, and we're so selfish when we go into relationships thinking that. A person is supposed to be a certain way, but we don't take into consideration the factors that make that person who they are and work on that. But we really have to work on ourselves to be able to work on that. Mm -hmm. Question. What do you do, Shakira? So everybody know. So this case, Baltimore, just getting in tune with you. Because she's, she's been our loyal <laughs> our loyal support. She comes all the way from Jersey. She's been our loyal support, and I love her for that. Her and her people's come down here. Breath and all, they cut down here. <laughs> let it loose. Right. So I appreciate them coming, but let everybody know what you do. Um, <laughs> how to get in contact with you? Right? Well, you can find me at from the easiest way to contact me is at from broke to fabulous dot com, and there's a link there where you can access my BlackBerry. I am a style queen. I can find you whatever you need. Put it this way: whatever your budget is, I make five dollars look like five million. Period. Whenever you're dealing with me, you will feel like you are a celebrity. Even food stamps. Point blank. <laughs> I could probably do something with that.